The Fed policy statement is behind us, and with no fresh bullish news, gold is still trading weaker. What's in store for the metal now? Joining me today is Rohit Savant. He's the research director for CPM Group. Rohit, good to have you in the studio. Thanks for having me. So gold uh, this morning is trading near a five and a half year low, Rohit. How is the metal set up? Um, I think that you probably continue to see some weakness um, over the next few days. But I think the second half of the year, you, you, know, you might see uh, a short rally in gold prices. Uh, may even go back to 1200 from where it is right now, 1200, 1220. Uh, but I don't think that, at least in the near term, anything beyond that is, is likely. So what do you think is driving this weakness? Uh, I think it's just a lack of any fresh news to push gold prices higher. You know, investors are aware why, about why they should be having some gold in their portfolio, and you know that there are a lot of long-term fundamental issues. Uh, but none of that's new. I mean, all of that news has been known to the markets for a lot of years. Uh, you know, the short-term investors got out of these markets uh, back in 2013, 14. You know, probably shifted their funds over to the equity markets. Uh, longer term investors, meanwhile, were you know, aggressive buyers. But what you're seeing right now is even these longer term investors are not being as aggressive in buying as they were a couple of years back because there's that sense of urgency doesn't exist. You know, you've seen prices come off. Uh, you have problems in the long term fundamentals, but none of them are immediate. So uh, there's just that you know, lack of anything new. Right. To drive gold well, it's obvious up. that the bears continue to lead the gold market right now. Short positions remain high. You know, what needs to happen for gold to really kind of burst out of this range? Um, I mean, at this point, with, you know, the way shorts seem a little overstretched, uh, you do have a seasonally stronger period coming up. So a little bit of buying might result in that short term rally that, you know, you might expect beyond September through the end of the year, you know, with the Indians coming in and buying uh, for the marriage season and then the Chinese later in the year for the Lunar New Year. Uh, so all of that might lend some, you know, a bit of a boost in prices and a, a bit of a short term, right. you know, rally, but nothing, nothing sustainable. Well, you mentioned India, but looking at China, we're not seeing demand pick up here. You know, given these low prices, you would think everyone would be flocking to gold. What are you seeing coming out of Asia? Right. Um, I mean, in the case of India and China as well, what it's the same. It's the same thought process that if you're, you know, you're going to continue see gold prices coming off, there's there's no real reason to like rush in and buy because there's there's no immediate use for that gold in terms of like there's there's no marriage season coming up and and buyers are going to look at this as let's see how much lower this gets before we really need to rush in and you know get something there's no urgency even on their parts in terms of being fabricators to uh, get into the market right now and and be buying gold so there's just that lack of demand from uh, on the buy side. Well, what about the sell-off we saw in Chinese equities? Do you think that could help gold? I mean, it should have helped gold. It did not. Uh, in fact, what you did see was a lot of the investors getting out of gold and using some of that to offset the weakness or their losses uh, on the equity side. So it actually got used more as uh, you know an offset to the, the losses in the equities. Uh, and you also saw investors come in and buy at those lower levels on the equity side. So um, really right now, at this point, you're just not seeing any sort of investor or fabricator demand which would boost prices. Now, finally, Rohit, I know you've been following the gold market for a long time now. Does the current situation worry you? Uh, it worries me in that it, the way I look at the gold market over the next few years is it's probably going to be range bound in these low levels, uh, you know, just because of this ongoing lack of concern from anybody. Uh, and so, you, you know, you might see these short term rallies every time prices uh, or shorts get overstretched, but nothing beyond that, which would, you know, take prices up substantially. So no sustainable gains in gold prices. All right, Rohit, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you next week.